guys, welcome back with Tabishi here. Today we are bringing you a 2017 Hyundai Kona Active. This one is in the absolutely gorgeous dark, what is it, dark night color. Very Batman, but very nice color. Um, this one is very well priced and it's in pretty good condition. So we're going to go over a couple of things today, see what's going on with the car, and we'll take it from there. Starting off at the front here, you can see the paintwork is in great condition. This is where you'd expect to see a bulk of the damage just done from standard highway driving, including stone chips and all that sort of stuff. You can see there's not a lot going on in the front of this thing. That's what we like to see. You can see the headlights on this thing are also not yellowing or showing any signs of chips or cracking. Again, what we like to see. Uh, very narrow headlights on these, so not a, not a lot of surface area to begin with. So the more of it that stays clear, the better off we will be. Coming around here, you can see the fog lights as well, also in excellent condition. And these little side reflectors looking great as well. Um, you can see... The rims here are in very good condition. They have sustained a couple of hits on the left side there, the top side there, but again, to be expected from a car from 2017. Not all used cars are perfect, and this is no exception. However, it is in a very good condition. See a little bit of, uh, actually, no, it's just, oh, there's a little bit of scuff on the top there too, but nothing to lose sleep over. Still very functional, and the tires have plenty left in it. Coming inside the car, you can see, it's got the nice cloth seats in here. Very, very, very essential design, but very well executed in these models. Um, trimmed out a lot of the fat. There's not a lot of stuff you don't need in here. Still plenty of the stuff you do need or do want, including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Always love to see that in these cars with the big displays. Makes it nice and easy to use. Um, door cards in excellent condition. The step there as well. well. Not the step. The kick guard, whatever you want to call it, that bit in the middle that always ends up losing paint to people stomping on it. No one's lost any paint yet. Speaking of the paint, you can look down the side of this here. You can see there's no dents or scuffs or scratches or anything. Very well looked after. Um, it's got the Hyundai roof racks across the top there. Nice and high, plenty of clearance. Good if you want to put anything over the top. More storage is always better. Um, as you can see here in the back seats, we've got more of that well looked after. Um, cloth interior, um, no scuffs, no stains, no scratches, no tears, no cuts. Ignore that bit of paper down there, we use that so we don't scuff them up more after cleaning them. Um, there's even a whole five cents in the door down there, if you find that you are welcome to keep it. Take it off your bill, no worries at all. Um, you can see the door card here as well as in excellent condition. And the tinting through there isn't too severe, but gives it a nice bit of tasteful privacy. Coming around the back you can see it has plenty of storage in the back here. Uh, you can also fold down the back seats if you feel like it's not enough storage. Plenty of options on these things. Removable floating parcel rack as well, if you want to get rid of that to give you more vertical space. Or if you're not too worried, you can leave it in and keep a bit more of that privacy. Closing that, you can see there's got the reversing camera down there, as well as an array of reversing park reverse parking sensors. Ensuring you don't back into anything. Continuing the theme of thin lights from the front as well. Very aggressive styling on the back here. Nice little, little lip covering some of the rear windscreen as well. Bit of a spoiler, bit nice. Checking out this right rear rim. You can see this one hasn't sustained any damage, not being curb facing, in very good condition. And the paintwork is absolutely glistening in the sun. Indicators built into the mirror on these. Always a nice choice, we love to see it. And you can see this room here as well is in very good condition. If we actually get inside the vehicle, we can fire it up. Let's make sure I get the key out of my pocket first. We can fire it up, completes its system check, looks at everything going on. Currently got low fuel at the minute, nothing we can't take care of. And this is where you can see all the action happens. Again, very stripped back to basics in here, but everything that's been done has been done well. You can see that it's got nice big climate control knobs. You're not going to miss them. You've got your AC, you've got your heating for the back windscreen. You've got where a majority of the magic happens through the big infotainment display here. Again, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, we love to see it on these models, and they love to give it to us. It is always nice to have. Um, <laughs> carrying on through the dash, you can see, what have we got here? We've got a nice big taco on the left, speedo on the right, bit of fuel on the right-hand side, bit of temps on the left. You can see it's also got the 
um, display behind the, the display behind between the gauges down there you can cycle through with the controls from the steering wheel including your tire pressure and your user settings whether you want to adjust your um, door settings or whatever set it to auto lock auto unlock um, you know everything that you want it to do you can cycle through some of your sound settings and just everything